the Equinox. Chevy really going after kind of that outdoorsy kind of look. Wow, look at the size of that one. Suburban Z71. Probably, I think it's the largest SUV on the market. I don't think you can get one bigger than this. Everything seems to have a drone on top of it nowadays. Oh, I hope they build this. It's like a sports car pickup truck. That is so cool. Now they brought it back the name Chevelle. Lots of concept cars in Chevrolet today. Ah, oh, look, at, look at the wing on this thing. Wow. And of course, another one of my dream cars, the Corvette. I'll take any Corvette, man, any Corvette. That. That's the baddest Malibu I think I've ever seen. Yeah, this is the Toyota Corolla Cross. I've been waiting to see this. This is going to be very popular. Forex concept. This is where they're going. That looks good. These are the ones that were at the Shanghai Auto Show, and I couldn't get anywhere close to them. Now I can actually get up close to them a little bit. Looks like they're going to be moving forward with these uh, Volkswagen Beetle style. It's got this like diamond look in here. And the phone is right here in the center console. Right there is the charging pad. Interesting. All right. Very cool, they're going forward with making them. They're gonna build them. They're actually pretty big. <laughs> Very interesting design. This is the one they make, they said it looks like a Panamera. This is a JMC. Yes, look at the interior of this. I love the the light. It's not real, it's fake, but it's a light colored wood trim. That looks great. I'm very happy with that. Not bad. It's like a sports car in here, man. This is nice, guys. This is really nice. Now they have a, uh, a camping one. Look at that. Wow. Are you serious? This folds down, I think, into a bed. And you can, I mean, you can stand up in here. <laughs> How cool is this? The Series SF5. Huawei inside, they call it. Yes, I'm gonna get a chance to actually drive this and do a full review on it very, very soon. It's a very, very well-designed, high-quality, good-looking car. I have seen them on the road. They're very popular. They even sell these inside the Huawei stores.
Remember how I said Nissan has the largest display here? They're going all out. Nissan's got a lot going on. Excited. If they bring the Gladiator to China, I'm going to be really excited to have that one. Alright, I got to come check this one out over here. Whoa! Would you look at that? That's insane! Wow, the GAC's got some great stuff here. I've been waiting for the new GS8 to come out. The original Trump GS8 was one that they wanted to export to America, and of course it never went through. And this new generation GS8 is a very handsome, it's large for China, that's a big, big SUV. Uh, oh, look, this one has LiDAR too. All right, oh my God. Three row seating in the GS8, alright. Sort of comfortable. Yeah, I like the look of the lice seats here, but long term man, they're just gonna get dirty. The new GS8 looks great. Inside. Look at that! Look at the wheels! They spinning! They spinning, motherfucker! They spinning! <laughs> All right. Look at the back. What? What is that? Like a spine. That's one of the more interesting ones I've seen here. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love the concept of just one driver and then, and then the rest is kind of just like a lounge. Look at the flowers. Oh. 
pink ion day. <laughs> These ions here, this, um, it's a very common DD car. Look at this. So this is the hall where all the van conversions are super popular. Where's Austin Martin? Very big right now. I'm hoping to get an opportunity to test drive and showcase this in the near future. I did make a contact and it will be coming to my channel soon. This is one of the most exciting cars in the Chinese market in my opinion right now. And Hi-Fi does have a new model that they're, they don't have it here, but they have teased it. So they're coming out with a new Hi-Fi model very, very soon. This is Walt Meister. It's strange because you got all of these uh, high-end van conversions, Bentley, Lamborghini, Austin Martin, and then in the middle of it you have Walt Meister. <laughs> Which is not a bad car. I mean, they're, they're nice. But they're definitely not in the same market as the Bentleys and the Rolls Royces. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Weltmeister M7. Also with LiDAR and cameras all around it. I mean, just insane. I guess that's the future, right? Look at all this on top, on the roof. Looks like a police car. It won't let me anywhere near these. Full star. Full star two, actually. This is a, a very exciting vehicle coming to the market, and they are going to sell it in Europe. It's basically like, um, it's from Geely, it's basically an electric Volvo, but everyone's been raving about the Polestar. And of course over here they have the very elusive and very rare and one of the most beautiful coupes I've ever seen is the Polestar 1. I love this car. They are unicorns. No doubt. Oh, the ID3. All right. So I've heard of the ID4 and the ID6. This is my first time seeing the ID3. All right. All right, very similar design. Look here, it's all white. It's all white, but this right here, this is the gear shift up here. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Again, these graphics are not my favorite, but that's gonna be a very popular car here, I'm sure. Okay, Lincoln Co. You know I love the Lincoln Co's. The 01, the 06, the 02 hatchback, always a fun booth here. Up there, that's all the VR rides and stuff. Let's go take a look at this. Huh, Lincoln's making a bike now, huh? All right. Oh yeah, it's Benelli. That's right, Benelli's are uh, made by GD, just like Lincoln Co. Cool. Is this the 09? This is the 09. Oh. I've been wanting to see the 09 and sit in it for a very long time. Oh, I'm very excited for this. 
The 09 is their new flagship. Three row seating. Good to see the 09 here. Looks great. I'm looking forward to going for a test drive in this, hopefully soon, guys. The 05 Plus. Oh, I, only, I didn't know they made an 05 Plus. This must be new, wow. That is awesome. Boy, I love this green color. You've seen it in the 03 Plus. Now they have it here. And it looks fantastic. That's sexy, man. What is that? It's a massive transformer. <laughs> this is FAW Volkswagen or Jetta. Wow. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but that thing is big. Art Fox. I really like the Art Fox. What is that? I tell you, man, they got all kinds of video games here. <laughs> uh, and the Art Fox is very nice. Of course, the Arc Fox also all electric, but also incorporating LiDAR into it. That looks really good in a matte finish. Oh my god, they got Songsan Motors here. If you don't know, Songsan Motors has some really trippy stuff. They're great, I saw them in Shanghai. Trippy, trippy designs. But I absolutely love their VW bus and trailer concept. So this is the Songsan VW bus and camper trailer combo. And I have to say, it's really freaking cool. Wow. I won't lie, man, I want it. Holds into a bed in the back. And then this trailer has a little dinette and an actual bathroom with a toilet. <laughs> what? Look at that. What? Are you kidding me? This is not a classic car, this is a new car. Tanya, yeah. Songsan Motors, they are absolutely crazy. They are absolutely nuts with what they can put together. Look at that. If you think that's something, you ain't seen nothing yet, check out the Corvette, electric Corvette knockoff. Check this out. Across the way from them is Neo. <laughs> and of course you have the Neo ET7. This is their new sedan. Of course Neo makes the ES6, the ES8 SUVs, which are very popular. There are Neos everywhere in China. They are selling like crazy. And this is their new sedan. And it is awesome. I did see this in Shanghai. They're not letting me get any closer to it. But you can see the interior. 
I love that interior. That is beautiful. Leap Motors, their new C11 SUV. We saw this in Shenzhen. Leap Motors is out of Hangzhou, and they're, wow, they got a lot of them here. Man, they're really showing off this new SUV. It's great, it's got three screens in it. The interior is quite nice. But Leap Motors is known for these small ones. And they have a little tiny coupe as well, like a little sport coupe, an electric sport coupe, but I don't see it here. Okay, well, let me show you the inside of this in case you didn't see the Shenzhen show. You can see it's quite nice. A startup electric car company, Leap Motor. They kind of have a cult following. I love the A5 coupe. It's simple and elegant. Audi's also very popular in China. Genesis, the new luxury brand from Korea. And this car, I sat in this car, I think in Shenzhen, and I was thoroughly impressed with it. Wow, what a car. Genesis is doing some great stuff, man. Okay, let's see what Infinity is up to. Anything new? Okay, oh, over here they got a, a QX60. All right, this is cool, this is cool. We'll check this out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I used to own an Infinity, and um, I really liked it a lot. Really hoping for the best for them. I hope that the uh, the future is better for infinity. Everybody loves Rolls Royce, but tell me in the comment section below, what do you think? What do you think of the color? It definitely stands out, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not feeling it. everyone's been talking about. Wow! Lotus is back to making supercars again. All right, so that's it folks. Uh, I got here early. I got here before the crowds. I'm now leaving in the middle of the afternoon as the show gets a lot busier again. Every year, it just keeps getting better and better. And in a few months, we'll see you at the Beijing 2022 Auto Show.